Right now, my Lego sorting machine sucks. This is not gonna cut it. I gotta be able to dump a box of pieces in and just leave the room. How do we take this pile of Lego pieces and just get them onto the conveyor belt one by one? Welcome to part two of fully automating Lego sorting. Ultimately, I have no idea what I'm doing. Other people have tackled this problem before and I wanna copy them everywhere that I can. And by copy, I mean depend on entirely. I, I wouldn't be getting anywhere without previous work to follow. They all pretty much follow the same two steps, which is to break the pile into clumps and then separate those clumps into the individual parts. And then the way you do this is with some sort of vibrating hopper, which is what I've been working on this week. Although it's a pretty simple concept, getting a working version was like way more difficult than I thought it would be. In essence, you wanna create like a funnel and put a vibrating motor on it and then angle the entire thing on springs and those springs are going to direct the vibration so that pieces both fall off from top of each other and then fall out the end of the hopper one by one and almost all the vibrating motors that i tried were either like so weak that they were that they you couldn't even feel them or they borderline threatened to like rip the entire machine apart these haptic feedback motors which are sort of like what you have in a phone uh, were like a total waste of time so instead i upgraded to just like a regular dc motor with a with a counterweight on it and as the as the motor spins the weight is constantly changing the force of direction basically creating the desired vibration at a much stronger force which is then just a matter of finding the right size of counterweight Similarly with the springs, I had to do a lot of experimentation. I tried these sheet metal springs, which looked like some examples that I had seen online, but ended up resorting to just like regular old coil springs, which can be a lot softer. At this point, I'm happy enough. I'm ready to move on. This is a good platform upon which we can tune parameters if we need to, and really like flexibility is all that I can ask for. So yeah, uh, follow for more updates. Next week, we'll be doing the part that actually creates the clumps that this breaks up. See ya.